Toby Young. Let me just say the name again because it's it sticks in my throat. It makes me sick to even say it. Toby Young. Now, having shown you those pictures, let me show you some more. And read, if you can, the uh, caption on this one. In fact, I'll read it before showing it to you. Some people are born to be a burden on the rest. Now look at the picture. It's quite hard to get it in, but uh, can you see it now? Just let the light adjust. Some people are born to be a burden on the rest. Hmm. Toby Young and his eugenics conference. A little bit more about eugenics in a while. Okay, here's a eugenicist dealing with um, some kind of caged animals by the looks of things, but obviously some kind of eugenic breeding program to, uh, to get the best, only the good genes are selected. Yeah, another one. And here are some other photos, just all Google photos, just say uh, images eugenics. That's what I did to this. Images eugenics. Some nice Nazis in there, aren't they? I believe on Toby Young's eugenics conference there were a number of Nazis present. Well, at least right-wing fascist types when this so-called ex-news of the screws academic attended. So perhaps he has a few Nazi connections, who knows? Oh, and just so you know the kind of type we want to get rid of, or the kind of type that we may well not permit to live, because they're just not up to, they're not up to scratch, they're not up to quality, they're not quality human beings. Well, there's a few types for you that might have to be eugenically cleansed, shall we say. Do you ever wonder about the Tory policy for people like me who are disabled? Yeah? People whom I believe um, Toby called um, uneducated or words to that effect, troglodytes. With the trogs. There used to be a man called the trogs. The trogs. Yeah, but with troglodytes. We're uneducated. Um, we're a um, we're a drain on society, aren't we? Yeah, drain on society. Let me use my favourite phrase again: the wortlos esses, wortlos esses. Now, surely Tobes understands that if we can breed those out from the human race, if we can breed them out we won't be having any more people who will be a burden on the rest of us. Perhaps Tobe should come down to um, a group that we work with sometimes, or I used to work with in uh, Norwich and Norfolk, where there are a number of uh, mentally, uh, well, let's say learning disabled people, to use a uh, current term. Let's call them learning disabled people. Two points in that term. The most important one is people, human beings, blood, bone, sinew, flesh, heart, soul, mind, spirit. People. Just people. What do you think Tobes would say to the... Uh, Lad I used to know in a wheelchair, and forgive me if I get a little bit sad when I tell this story, because I'm going to tell it from my heart, and I'm really going to tell it from my heart, and I'm not going to make myself feel any particular way when telling it, but I'm going to tell it from my heart. This is a real person. We took the club, as it was then, to um, Blackpool to see the Illuminations. Sharon and I had only been going out probably just under a year. But Sharon's the most wonderful person. and She's done a lot of work with people who were learning disabled. And Sharon's kindness and tolerance just shines through like a 
beacon. It's just like it's amazing. I I see part of God in that, quite honestly. I see part of Christ in that. I see her hand extended as the hand of Christ. She probably doesn't realise that, that doesn't matter, but I see love in that. And while we were all in Blackpool together, we're having a great time, man. It's so good. We 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 all go down to the um to the restaurant in this in this nice hotel. They're they're all sort of there eating and having fun and shouting and carrying on and whatever, but just enjoying themselves before we get the old coach tour around the lights and whatever. They're having a great time. Yep. Sharon would probably remember this lad's name because I know she'd known him for quite some time. This lad was brilliant. He was just amazing. He he spoke with me and Sharon and he ate at our table and I don't know what sort of learning disability he had. I, I did some study on these kind of things when I was a, a postgraduate in Leicester. Yeah. But I think it was some kind of mental impairment. Um, I'm not sure what it was, but I believe I was told that in fact uh, it would probably shorten his life. He may have uh, had downs, I don't know. Yeah. I talked with him, we ate with him, we shared with him. He was full of life, he was full of ideas, he was full of so many incredible things. He was totally human, and he was loved. He's dead now. He died some time ago. Some time ago, somebody lost a son. We lost another human being. We lost a beautiful, kindly person. The world lost a life. The world lost a soul. I believe in God. A bit of the old... Um, Titanic music, I believe that the heart will go on. It's about as close as I can get, really, most of the time. But he's around somewhere else. Not with us now, but he's with God, as far as I know. As far as I would ever say. He's with God. He's safe. Yeah. But he had a right to be. Tell me this, Toby Young, and you right-wing Tories... Is the eugenics conference and whatever all behind a future you and your Tory mates have planned for us disabled people? Is that the kind of future you have? Like on the Nazi T4 programme? Overdose of insulin given to us in a little nursing or perhaps so-called care home somewhere? And uh, a um, letter sent back to our uh, loved ones, our carers, our wives, our families, saying, we're terribly sorry, but unfortunately, your relative um, died because his appendix burst. Yeah? And of course, they know that his appendix was taken out when he was three years old. But is that what you want, Tobes? Is that what your eugenics is all about? Making the perfect human race. Making a race where no one will have to be a burden on anybody. Because we can't have burdens. We cannot have burdens on taxpayers. Mm, funny that, really, isn't it? Because um, aren't the royal family a bit of a burden on taxpayers? Yeah. Isn't, you know, the Windsor family uh, living off the um, taxpayers? Yeah. I maybe didn't get as upset about that young man as I could have done but believe me I feel great sadness in a strange way I feel great affinity for him as well I feel as though he kind of taught me something that I would have never learned elsewhere I feel as though his life spoke to my life there was something really good in that. There was something profound in that. Toby, Toby, Toby. Why do you even hold public office?
Davis. Toby's constituents. I expect by now you actually believe that um, you know you elected a man with those views. It's quite sad really, isn't it? But you know what you know more often and yeah, once again my friend Chucky Mark makes it really clear. Knowing all of this Bojo and Tweeza still defended him. Yeah. They knew that. They knew they were defending a person who referred to disabled people as troglodytes. Worthless Vertlos Essas. Says a lot behind Tory policy, doesn't it? Especially if you're disabled, like myself and my wife. I'd like it if you'd pass this around, please. You don't have to, but I'd like it if you would, please. Thanks for listening.